Archaeology often tells a story of slow, steady progress. Crude tools become better tools, and skill improves over time. But the evidence does not always cooperate with that narrative. At certain ancient sites, stonework reaches a level of precision that appears suddenly, then disappears for centuries. Perfect right angles, flat surfaces within millimeters, drill holes with consistent depth and symmetry. Not everywhere, not all the time, but enough to raise uncomfortable questions. At places like Puma Punku, stone blocks interlock with such tight tolerances that even modern builders would struggle to reproduce them without power tools. The stones are hard, the cuts are clean, and then, oddly, later construction at the same site is far rougher. In Egypt, similar patterns appear. At Abu Rawash and nearby regions, some core masonry shows extreme accuracy, while later layers abandon that standard entirely. This is not gradual improvement. It looks more like a peak followed by loss. Mainstream explanations usually focus on loss craftsmanship, changing priorities, or social collapse. Those explanations may be correct, but they still leave one problem. Precision like this requires planning, measurement, and repeatable technique. It does not happen by accident. What we may be seeing is not a linear rise of civilization, but moments where knowledge concentrates, then fragments. Skills mastered by a small group. Systems that worked, until they didn't. The mystery is not that ancient people were capable. It's that sometimes they were capable in ways their successors were not.